Hello, I'm Greg, and it's time for another Tom Take. Easter Sunday. Happy Easter and all that. I must say, since I became a Christian, I've been spending that whole winter out in my back deck with my Bible and, and praying to God that I need your help understanding these words I'd been through church my whole life and and I said right now I'm casting out I'm denouncing everything I've learned from a little boy I don't want to know any of that I want you to teach me what this thing says because I knew I was getting half truths a lot I knew I was getting half truths a lot. It was something, something more pan, panning out, you know. And, uh, and, um, since that, since those days, I made it a point to go cut wood with my chainsaw in the yard on Easter Sunday. Because I understood, I knew what the Apostle Paul said. I knew what the Apostle Paul meant when he was, when he, um, said to a group of a group of Christians that he that he was helping along a church that he had established I think he said he said I'm afraid of you because you observe days weeks and seasons because you observe them things he said I'm I'm afraid of you afraid of people that do that yeah because they haven't let the Holy Spirit inside their heart that makes every day Easter, every day Christmas, every day a day to be saved. I don't violently oppose it, but there is there is opposition in me for it, that's for sure. Anyway, today's adult tunnel takes adult of the day. Um Suburban pipe, suburb, suburban pilgrim, suburban pilgrim. Now this guy, I don't know what his name is, but this guy has figured out, slowly but surely, he's figured out that methodically, this feminist culture that we live in, the United States, has, has washed his masculinity out the door, almost out the door, and he's trying to get it back, and he's declared that he will get it back. You know, I coined a term years ago. I called it U.S. feminized Christianity, which is not Christianity at all, really. What it is 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 a way of thinking that that um, dumbs down, makes everybody docile, everybody uh, loving. Nobody about you. The, 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 there, was, there was a church in the, in the book of Revelation that talked about this church in the last days. These people here, here are they they um, have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. They deny the power thereof. Feminism denies has forms of everything, but they deny the power that's there. Masculinity brings the power that's in that thing. Not femininity doesn't do that. Femininity, femininity will always, when something doesn't go right, they'll blame the husband. Oh, it's his fault. They can create the biggest crap storm in the world in your family. Oh, it's his fault. Oh, wait just a minute. Don't you ever, ever take the blame for something that's not your blame. I've done that in my life before, and I'd never do it again. Never do it again. So, femin U.S. feminized Christianity, yo, you go in churches a day, and what do you see? Flowers, doilies. Kleenex boxes under each pew. What's that about? Tinkling little piano music in the background. Bunch of emotionalism crap. 
When was the last time you heard the song Onward Christian Soldiers? Marching into war. When was the last time you heard that at church? When was the last time you heard a sermon on, a, on, on Jesus flipping over the tables in the temple? Oh, and if you did hear a sermon, it was dismissing it as something that, oh yeah, we, should, we shouldn't use force of any kind. Well, um, uh, that's just Jesus. He was God. You, know, you, should, you shouldn't be doing anything like that. Well, if that's the case, we shouldn't be uh, Jesus at all then. Right? It is a cancer in the church. There's no question about it. It's a cancer in our society. And it needs to be dealt with. Chemotherapy will deal with it. Good for him. Whatever that guy's name is, I tell you what. Good for him. Anyway. Um, yeah. When was the last time you heard a, heard a sermon on women are to remain silent in a church? If they have a question, they are to ask their husbands at home. That's a, that's a, that's, a, that's New Testament scripture. You won't hear that at a church because females have ruled the church. Females rule the church today. Why? Because they are more spiritual than men. Not more godly, I guarantee you that. They're more spiritual than men. Who, who, did, who, did, this, who, did, who did Satan go to first? He didn't go to Adam to get to Adam. He went to Eve to get to Adam. The scripture says she is easily deceived. Females are easily deceived. That's what, that's what they are. You won't hear a sermon on that either. Because the preachers behind the toolpits have let us down. Has let have totally let God down. And said, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell out God for this check that, that, that she can get out of her husband. Or this check that she can she's going to work for every day. There's some hell to pay, y'all. Tell you what. In this country, we have, we have like 60 million unborn children that have been killed. You have 60 million, 100 million, whatever it is. We we got some, if If every man reaches what he sows, this country is made of men, and it's going to sow some horrible times, y'all. I mean, it sown some horrible times. And it's going to reap some horrible times. Sown to the wind, it's going to reap the whirlwind. And so we deserve it. No question about it. But we can turn from our evil ways and, and we can avoid that, uh, that reaping and sowing process. And God can able, God's able to heal our land and heal our people. But we have to repent. We have to say this is wrong what we've been letting happen. This is wrong what we've been letting happen. Why is our society going down the tube? We need to figure it out and fast why it's happening. Suburban Piper. Nope, sub Suburban Pilgrim. The tongue takes adult of the day. I'll put a link in the description below. Bye now.